Harley Davidson, created in 1903 in Wisconsin by William Harley and Arthur Davidson. The first prototype model was created in 1903, where it would only run for a couple of hours before blowing up. 1907, Harley Davidson Motor Company was legitimately created and incorporated into the manufacture of machines, where they only created about 50 or so a year. In 1908, the product had just a year later, the productivity of the company had created up, go from gone from 50 or so machines to 456 machines, with they're suddenly employing 36 people, which is quite impressive at the time. In 1969, American Motor and Foundry, AMF also known as, bought Harley on, on, after the brothers all passing after the Great Depression. In nine in 2001, they created their biggest line of motorcycles. In, called the B-Rod, which is still a line that produced to this day, and it's one of their biggest sold machines at, at the time. In 2019, subject to tariffs from the EU and from India, and in India. Current marketing mix. So you've got the seven, the current marketing of 7Ps, you've got product placement, pricing, promotion, people, processes, and physical evidence. Um. The product, obviously, Harley Davidson, their biggest things is motorcycles. They did do a couple other things here and there, but motorcycles was their main thing. Placement, their main headquarters is still in, is in Milwaukee, also in Wisconsin. They've currently employed over 1,400 people. Uh, 1,400 people independently own Harley Davidson. Um, Harley Davidson has dealerships in nearly 100 companies, pricing give or take from the lowest cost of their bikes from $8,500 $8, up to $70,000. Uh, the promotion normally goes through ad campaigns and through legal through legal of HGTV shows, movies, and general like general knowledge. People know of you think of motorcycles, you'll think of Harley Davidson, you'll think of cruises. That's the main image you think of majority of the time for someone who's not experienced in motorcycles. They've, they've hired over five thousand employees worldwide. Has a diverse range of stakeholders and the average average consumers is of white ethnicity with being around the middle age between 30 and 60 years old so 40 and 60 years old current micro environmental analysis also known as pestle analysis political from 2018 the european union has put tariffs on american made imports including harley davidson which reported that the tariffs increased exponentially for example in 2021 our devs and products have had a 56% import tariff applied to their shipments. Also, Harley Davidson issues with tariffs, with tariffs have been used by Donald Trump to argue their uh, for fuck's sake. Oh, don't grab. Oh my god. <laughs> it was Ivy. Yeah, no, that's not okay. You can have it. I don't want it. Just keep my name off the report if information wasn't used. Not passing. Um, I've got other stuff going on. Sorry for like a communication bye. Did you say bye? Yeah. Oh my god. You've actually leaving the group. Oh, I hope she is. Okay. Come on. <coughs> no. <you're> not. <coughs> She's not getting what I need to get. Not the cough you want. Current macro environmental analysis, also known as pestle analysis. Political. In 2018, the European Union has put tariffs on American-made imports such as Harley-Davidson, which reported that the tariff has increased exponentially. For example, in 2021, Harley-Davidson products have had a 56% increase tariff applied to their shipments. Harley-Davidson also, also have been used by Donald Trump to argue unfair tariffs placed on American-made brands. Economic. There are currently a cost of living crisis going around the globe, which may steer people away from buying expensive motorcycles such as Harley Davidson, especially as they're seen as more of a leisure vehicle, less of an A to B commuting vehicle. Social. They have received backlash on their consumer base for diversity, equity, inclusion initiatives, which have pushed them back, pushed them to stop all diversity, inclusion, trading to drop the corporate function. While this may please a percentage of the commute of their customer base, this may turn out to ostracize many of their consumers and politically of some of their own employees. Difficulties encouraging young generations to buy the product due to young buyers wanting more of a transportation bike, more of an A to B bike. Another one is climate changes causing slow building, a slow building want for more, more sport and electric vehicles, electric okay. motorcycles. Technological, Harley Davidson is somewhat current keeping up with tech with technology of other con of other companies for their adventure bikes. That's one that they have reached into a little bit. 
And they've also dabbled in a little bit of the electrical market, though their first try at the market was not very successful. Legal, there is currently uncertainty of the trade policy in India, where bikes especially are manufactured. India, due to no trade limit on import tariffs, can change their import taxes as much as they desire, causing financial uncertainty for Harley-Davidson. Environmental, many people are becoming more aware of the impacts of emissions from fossil fuels, including those using used in bikes. Harley Davidson appears to be aware of this going forward and is going to dabble more into the electrical market. SWOT analysis. Strengths, market on vintage appearing motorcycles, strong marketing and brand legacy on stylish motorcycle armor as well favored on its fan base. Weaknesses, very expensive motorcycles, high demand in the US, obviously from its continuing fan base. Diminishing markets in Asia, and the aging demographics, the baby boomers are getting older, so they won't be able to keep up as much and they're not going to be buying as much anymore. Opportunities, they could expand more into the, the adventure market, the adventure bike market and the electrical bike market. They're, buying, they're a kind of thing that they haven't dabbled into. The electric bike market is brand new, so they've dabbled into that. They, make, they get something that sounds good and get something off the ground. They've got a really good opportunity there. The biggest threat is cost of cost of their vehicles. It already is a lot to cost their bikes, especially in this kind of climate. Politically pushing away any consumers who are diverse due to their dismantling of their DEI initiatives. And price of manufacturing is a lot more, costs them a lot more now than what it used to cost a while ago, before COVID basically. Current PLC's analysis in 2017, they were at the best. So they're at 242K and going down in 2020. So four years ago, they're 180K. So they've dropped down 60, they've dropped down $60,000, which is already huge. That's just a decline over, th over, over three years. And now we're a couple more years in the future now, and it's going even worse. So they're down 17.4% between 2019 and 2020. They will create more of an understanding of what they were. They grew a lot more in world in the world wars and the markets due to there because they were used a lot between them. Between the mid 1900s and the 2010s, the company experienced the biggest time of growth and maturity. They're the biggest decline in 2018 due to the other competitors and tariffs they have to experience their declines in their sales. But they may be experiencing a slight resurgence just a little. Mark Porter's competitive strategy choices. Companies or products that use a focused differential strategy are, as argued by Porter, cited in Data 2010, perceived industrial-wide as being unique and often have a premium quality attached. Harley Davidson's unique branding is attached to the stereotypical image of bikers, biker clubs, and biker gangs, and therefore is not only is Harley selling the product of a motorcycle, but also selling its reputation and image. Harley Davidson targets their engine sizes to be typically around 500 to 1,000 cc, which has left them in a sole supplier for the market. Therefore, their strategy is focused differential, making their place in the world of motorcycles unique and closely tied to their ongoing legacy as a powerful cruising company. While there appears to be an attempt to broaden this strategy through delving into the electric world and the adventure bike world, they have limited strategic efforts to widen their consumer base. Harley Davidson strategies versus other motorcycle company strategies. The biggest competitor that I would say Harley has is would be Kawasaki as they've broadened their market focusing on Kawasaki's self-claimed further differentiating itself with highly functional performance-based products ranging from cruises, super bikes, level, cruises to super, super bike level motorcycles while also making bikes for MotoGP where sponsors support their financial costs as it is an aim of the becoming the world leader in hydraulic competitions. Potential improvements that I say they could include. One thing I would say for sure is a focus on lower cost. First of all, like it's too hard to purchase one of these vehicles, especially if they're going to cost this much, especially in this day and age. Looking for more, uh, looking for more of a retro kind of bike, more something that looks more modern. Some people do like the aesthetic of the older vehicles, but if it looks too old, it's probably going to run old, and that's a worry for the younger generation. I'd say to create a race bike or a sport bike that can aimed at younger generations, so something like the Yamaha R1, the Kawasaki Ninja Ninja One Thousand. They're sport bikes, big leader bikes, and I recommend Harley incorporates those kind of things into their goals and the creations. 
and to get more of an age range of trying to aim, aim for these bikes. You want to get, instead of aiming for the age range of baby boomers, which is what they were at the time, So they were 30 to 50 year olds, but you want to you want to lower that from 30 down to 18, borderline limit they can get on a bike, get people to start liking the bikes younger, people to start talking about them more at a younger age, and it'll become more of a staple people will start riding the Harleys for. Thank you.